Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome him. 接下来呢，我们要掌声欢迎的是亚洲最大旅游体验平台 KK Day 陈明明执行长。Hi everyone, and I I think I I learned a lot from、uh, Alex because、uh, yes, if if if、uh, when a day、uh, easy table explain、uh, a lot of countries, maybe ten countries, then Alex will have ten girlfriends. <laughs> OK， 呃，我我想我是更爱台湾的，因为我老婆小孩都在台湾，所以我今天的演讲会用中文来说。呃，今天主要大概是讲这个行动商务下的这个呃新的趋势哦。那我跟大家报告一下，呃，因为 KDS 我们是在一个旅游的产业里面，那旅游其实在呃过去从两千年有了 Internet 之后做一个这个翻天覆地。In 2000, the Internet brought great change, brought great change to the tourism industry. And then the Internet of Things brought even more change to the industry. About five to six years ago,、uh, you would see news articles like this. So one day someone is abroad, and then someone、uh, turned on their roaming service, and then the bill、uh, became so expensive. So that was five to six years ago, and people would turn off their、uh, roaming service when they go when they went abroad. But today,、uh, that's no longer the case because the cost for international data roaming is so much cheaper today, and the phone that we have in our hands has become the greatest tool for. Us to travel and around the world to get to know a city better. For example, if I don't know、uh, where to dine, I can look it up on my phone, and I can book a table through Easy Table. I can do that. I might arrive in a in a restaurant that serves Thai food. I might not understand the Thai menu.、Uh, I can use my phone to translate that menu for me into a language that I understand. And if I can't communicate with the Thai server or the waiter, I can use、uh, interpreting apps to help the two of us communicate. So. With these new trends in mind, I started a new company a while ago, and I knew that. A、uh, backpacker or traveling on one's own、uh, instead of going on a tour with a group will be the next big trend. But now I'm spotting another change、uh, within the individual traveler sector, and that change is triggered by、uh, the internet, as I have just said, phones. Are now changing the way individual travelers travel, and so I found new opportunity here. A lot of people spend a lot of time on social media platforms such as Facebook, and sharing photos when they travel has become a big part of the whole social media experience. So this could be a photo、uh, taken on a trip that you took to Japan in the past. But today, you can take better photos like this. What's the difference?、Uh, the package that we offer today is one where you can put on the local traditional costume and then have photos, professional photos, taken、uh, at the destination that you travel to. And so these are two photos that are so different, and I believe this latter photo would generate a lot more likes than the previous one. So today, I think traveling, the package that we offer,、uh, should be more than what was offered in the past. The depth has to be deeper today, and the offering has to be more、uh, attractive today. And in a way,、uh, by offering a greater package,、uh, the photos taken could be better, and sharing can be more fun on social media platforms. Another trend that we spotted in the industry is the rise of budget airlines and also the rise of hotel booking websites, which include Agoda, Airbnb,、uh, Expedia, as well as these international giants. All of them are venturing into Asia, so the consumer is now slowly beginning changing the way they plan their itinerary due to these websites. 
a journey is made out of three parts, flight total and the actual tour. For flights, you can go to Skyscanner or go, or go to the websites of budget airlines. For hotels, you can go to Airbnb or Agoda. For the actual tour, well, that's where we come in, where KK Day come, comes in. Mr. Kaifu Lee mentioned 10 industries that are on the horizon of disappearing, and one of the industries listed is the tourism industry. And the reason is because uh, in the past, tourism was about packaging flight, hotel, and tour together and sell it as a package to the consumer. But uh, today or in the future, because the internet is in itself a de-intermediary tool, uh, that means that uh, travel agencies which served as an intermediary in the past would be made obsolete by the internet, which is why Mr. Kaifu Lee said uh, the tourism industry is uh, about to disappear. So what has to be changed? What has to be done? What is next? Well, we realize that there are still no big players within the actual industry of organizing tours. So we found this niche and we focused on this niche and started KK Day. But we talk a lot about tours. Uh, however, we offer more than just tours. We offer much more. For example, when a uh, traveler arrives uh, at uh, the airport, uh, at the, the destination country, uh, he might need people to pick him up, to take him to the hotel. He might need to get a uh, SIM card for him to go onto the internet. Uh, we can offer s assistance and services in those regards. In addition to that, we focus a lot more on the so-called experimental uh, touring, uh, such as uh, cooking local cuisine, or you can join a local theater troupe and to learn how to act and sing with the troupe. So this kind of experimental tour packages would also be great content, was all, would also make great content for you to share on social media. The bottom chart is the current business model of KK Day, and the above chart is the traditional uh, or the current business model of the tourism industry. If you've been on a group tour, uh, you might have been uh, put together with another tour, two, two groups of people being put together and go on the same tour. That happened a lot in the group tour sector. Different uh, travel agencies would organize different tours, and those tours would in the end be combined together or be given to another uh, tour organizing company uh, for them to actually do the groundwork. You might purchase a package from one travel agency, but in the end, uh, your actual tour would be handled by another tour agency. Uh, you might have to go on a five-day, four-night tour, and uh, within that tour, they might take you to a, uh, a, a, a ride on River Rapids, but the actual tour company might not have that resource, so that would be further contracted out to a local uh, Rapids ride service provider. So it's again and again contracted out with a lot of intermediaries in between. That is the current or the traditional business model. What KK Day does is we take all of those intermediaries out and instead we offer a one-stop service at KK Day. That means we can reduce costs by a great deal. For example, I recently took a trip in Thailand and we had a great time in one of the cities in Thailand. The arrangement was that a car would come and pick us up in, uh, around noon uh, to Bangkok. And uh, that was the arrangement. But what happened was quite different from that because in the process of 
all the communications, uh, the phone call had to go through a lot of different layers. One party had to contact another party, and another party would have to contact yet another party. Uh, so that would be a big problem if we need to change our schedule. The car was to come to pick us up at uh, 12 o'clock. And in the past, to make a schedule change, it would be so complicated. But uh, now that we're offering a one-stop service, making a schedule change would be so much simpler. I only had to send out a text message, and within five minutes, uh, they, could pick a, they could pick us up at another time uh, uh, upon my request which is what KK Day offers, the simplification of the process and making things easier. We started in 2015, and our main focus was in Taiwan. In 2016, we began expanding to Southeast Asia. In 2016, our main focus was in Hong Kong, Singapore, and Malaysia. Later on, uh, towards the second half of the 2016, we uh, ventured into South Korea. And then in 2017, we have basically covered most of the Eastern Asian countries, including Japan, Singapore, Thailand, the Philippines, and Indonesia. We, all, we have local offices in all these different countries. Our local offices are responsible for sc scouting uh, interesting tour offerings locally. Uh, that's what our local offices do. We have uh, we employ people from more than 15 countries. We have more than 260 employees, and a quarter of all of those people are overseas. Why is it so difficult for a travel agency to go global? And why is it that when we break down a travel agency into different parts, then it becomes easier to go global? I think my answer is that, well, if we look at big travel agencies in Taiwan, a lot of them had a hard time to go global was because, uh, let's say, a five-day tour to Hokkaido. So you can buy that tour in Taiwan because it's a Taiwanese tour agency. But if you want to offer the same package to people in Hong Kong, it would be a challenge. Because in Taiwan, when you organize a five-day tour to Hokkaido, you will be talking to, for example, China Airlines or EVA Airlines. But if you're offering the package, the same package to Hong Kong, uh, you will be working with Cathay Pacific or other airlines. And also, you need to work with different tour guides. So when you are offering the same package to different countries, different localities, uh, that, that's, that's a challenge, and traditional big agencies find it difficult to do that, which is the reason why it is difficult for them to go global. But when you take a travel agency apart and break it down into smaller components and then look at those components individually, when that is the case, then going global would be a lot easier because now each component can be dealt with uh, respectively and separately. In the earlier stages, uh, people had to book for hotel rooms directly from the hotel or at travel agencies. But now people go to Agoda or other hotel booking platforms. So this is what I mean by taking uh, part, taking a travel agency apart. We deal with booking hotel rooms uh, separately and we deal with booking ticket for flights separately. And when that is the case, it, it, it becomes a lot easier to go global. It becomes easier to offer your service to people in different countries and, and different localities. And one good advantage for going global is that you will be less susceptible to the ups and downs of the travel season. Um, the season might be slow in one locality, but it might not be slow in another uh, country. So that means you can have a more stable income and revenue. One other advantage is that 
uh, it also makes it easier uh, for you to strike deals with hot hotels. Because uh, if you work with only one country, then all the tourists from that country would normally only take vacations during maybe one or two months during a year and that for hotels can be a big problem and as a travel agency or as a service provider if you work with different localities tourists from different countries you can bring tourists to those hotels all year round all of those are the reasons why we should go global when you can bring stable income for yourself when you can bring stable traffic to hotels that's a big bargaining chip when you engage this it, hotels and other uh, service providers in discussions kk day to day provides a lot and this is one of the tours that we offer you can uh, go and watch f1 race cars racing with us and uh, you can also go and join this candlelight festival with us. It's a rural village in Japan uh, that's very scenic. And it's also culturally unique with a very special festival. And we offer a unique package that brings tourists to the rural Japanese village for a day or two to immerse themselves in local culture. We also offer experiential packages such as you can uh, you can you can you can take ninja training lessons or gladiator training lessons. You can also learn to cook Korean cuisine. You can get married on a plane. You can go camping under the Fuji mountain. You can do a lot with our with, with what we offer. And today we offer our offerings in 12 different languages and uh, pricing is done based on 12 different countries prices as well. And the average rating that we receive from our consumer, from our customer, is 4.8, 4.8 stars. Finally, a video to show you that introduces us. So, what are you waiting for? Find out the fun, take on the adventures, meet the women's locals, your best holiday is just a click away. Start your exceptional local experiences now on KK Day. Thank you so much. That's all, thank you. CEO of KK Day. Thank you, KK Day.